All right, well, today is a new day. I was up pretty late last night figuring out uh, what I wanted to do for a stain. And after, oh, it's got to be 40 or 50 different combinations now, um, I think I've come to a decision. And it might be surprising, but uh, it's, it's the same stain on both species of wood. And it's just a classic gray by Minwax. And basically sanded, stained, let it dry. I think I applied two coats on the pine just to bring it more uh, close to the gray on the Douglas fir. But other than that, I'm just gonna keep it simple. And I think after watching my last video on assembling the table, uh, the color difference really didn't look all that bad. All right, so this morning, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the table and get it sanded and stained. Okay, so I start by just removing the top and then I uh, number all the aprons and the corresponding legs. That way when I reassemble, it will go back exactly how it was before I took it apart. So with it all labeled, I can go ahead and take it apart uh, the rest of the way. And then I start sanding. I'm sanding to uh, 120 grit here. And you can see here I have all the legs stacked up together. This is a good trick if you have a lot of narrow pieces that you're trying to sand with a big sander. All right, well, turns out my sander just died on me. Um, I was suspecting that I was going to be going out soon. So the bearings didn't sound too healthy. Um, I was going to replace the bearings, but I really need to get this job done today. So I'm just going to go buy a new sander and uh, fix this one later. So um, I'm off to the store and I'll be back shortly. All right, so I just got back from the store. I just got uh, another cheap sander uh, just to finish up this job. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up. The sanding is pretty straightforward. It's just sanding at a 120 and breaking all the corners, as you see here. And so I'm just applying the stain with a cheap chip brush, uh, letting it soak for about five minutes, and then wiping it off with a clean rag. And it gives it a really nice uh, look there. After that, I'm just reassembling. Uh, it's easy because all the holes line up perfectly because all the pieces are going exactly how it was when I took it apart. All right, so I've stained the table and I've allowed it to dry uh, over a day. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat of General Finishes Clear Satin and uh, this is a water-based product, so I wanted to let the stain dry nice and uh, long just so that there's no interaction between the oil and the water. Um, this is actually two pieces to this order from my customer. She had this bench and this table for her entryway. I haven't really shown anything on the bench until now, but um, since I'm finishing both of them at the same time, um, that's why that's there. Uh, unfortunately, because of time, I was not able to record me building that. Um, I just had to get it done and I knocked it out. So um, I've already applied my top coat there, but now I'm going to do the table and I'll show you uh, how I do that. So I'm just using this uh, cheap three inch chip brush um, and I had actually cut it off so that I can get inside these openings easier. Um, but so that's why that's cut off. But I'm gonna just apply one layer, and I, this chip brush is okay. It's gonna it might leave a little couple brush marks. This uh, satin finish actually lays out really smooth, um, so the brush quality did, doesn't have to be as high. I love General Finishes products, um, so let's go ahead and uh, finish it up. So my technique is usually just kind of apply the finish. Uh over the entire surface and then go back with some long strokes to level out all the brush marks. You can see that here. 
And I like to uh, finish from the top down. So I've already done the top and the top aprons. And then I did the legs and now I'm doing the shelf. And that way if uh, I do have any finished drip down onto a surface below, it will get leveled out as I continue to apply that finish. All right, so the table is now complete. Uh, I've just finished applying the uh, top coat finish and it is now dry. The customer is gonna be picking it up soon. And I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Um, I think with the bench, uh, I think it's really nice uh, pieces that complement each other well. So I know originally I was a little bit uh, worried about the Douglas fir and the pine and how they were gonna match, but I think it uh, actually turned out very well. All right, so if you have any questions about today's build, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.